Hey guys, so I was uh, in the market for uh, some auxiliary lighting controls and I've been looking, uh, but they're all way too expensive, right? You got the S pods, these different lighting systems uh, by all these different brands and they're all selling for like four or $500. It's just insane. Uh, and then I came across this guy. So this is the Apollo Intec uh, painless plug and play installation um, control module. Uh, so as you can see there, this has the uh, six rocker switches along with the voltmeter that sits on top of the, gets mounted onto the footman's loop on the top where your freedom panels go on. And um, I hear really good things about it. I saw countless uh, reviews on it. Uh, everyone has been swearing by it and it's less than half the cost of a lot of the other competition. It's really insane how cheap it is. Um, but I was a little skeptical. And uh, after reading the reviews and looking at all the videos online and looking at the updates, no one's had any issues with it. So we're gonna unbox this guy. Uh, as you can see, this is Apollo Intech. This is exclusive to Amazon, so you can't buy this on any of those other sites. This is for the Jeep Wrangler JK 09 through 17. I have the 2017 winter edition, so this should uh, work out good. And this is in the green light to kind of keep it consistent with my theme, but they do have red, blue, as well as green. Uh, so let's unbox it and see what we have in there. Check that out guys, so I mean, this is like really beefy stuff right here. Apollo Intech, as you can see there. Uh, you've got the fuses so that you won't blow anything. The fuses will go first. You've got uh, two 30 amp fuses and then the rest are 20s. Um, and then look, you've got your relays here and then all where all your power goes. This thing is really, really cool. I am definitely looking forward to installing it. And like I said, all metal construction, so it's really, really good quality, especially for what I paid. Um, let's get this thing installed. Now that we have this installed, we have it installed between the ECU and the washer fluid tank. Kind of sits there mounted. It's pretty sturdy, it's not going anywhere. Now I have to get this to control the switch model to the firewall. How I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna take this Allen key and electrical tape this to the end of the Allen key and then push it through the firewall. Right in through the firewall. There. Came out. Right here. We ran the cables through the firewall. I have the power cables hanging out over there. I'm not gonna hook them up just yet. And my Nylight hood light that I have I've already kind of hooked up to it and routed the cables over here, but I'm not plugging anything in yet. So the next thing to do is to hook up the switch module inside. Right, so I think the best way to do it 
would be to remove the freedom panels. So we are going to remove the freedom panels. Alright, so like I was saying, the next step in the install is to take this and hook it up to here. So, all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver. You're going to take this and put it right over the footman's loop. And then you got some tape here, 3M tape, that you're going to kind of put over. So, I'm going to do a test fitment first to make sure it's good. There is one thing you do have to do, you need to remove this. Now technically you need to remove this, this, and this as well. But I really don't want to, I'm going to try to get around it like I did with my camera. My, uh, my dash camera. I ran it up top of here and never had to remove this. So I know I have to remove this. So I'll pop this out and we'll see how we get that working. Alright, so so far I did not have, I did not have to remove this. Like a lot of the videos show or this. I kind of just fished it down here and forced it inside of the channel so that I didn't have to remove all the paneling because this is really annoying to put back on um, and I'm going to kind of loop this around here try to fish it around and then get it through here and here and then hook it up like I said I didn't want to take any of this off and I still was able to get this around so I kind of just forced it through here I came out to this side and I'm going to fish this in here and then we will hook it up to the piece. So now the next fun part of this is installing switches. So now we get to install switches. Alright, so we ran all the wires. We had to remove the cover because the cover was just getting really annoying. So run the wires back here, zip tying everything. The breaker, which is really cool, this kit comes with the breaker I put against here and then kind of zip tied it here so that's not going anywhere. Then here's your positive wire and this goes into your fuse box which we're going to have to drill a hole in through so that it can come out and then here's your neck. Alright guys, so I did try to take a shortcut by not taking all this stuff out. And it kind of cost me. I don't know if something happened to the wire as I was trying to force it in here, but the system did not work. So I had to get a replacement. Now we're doing things the right way. I'm going to have to take this grab handle off. Um, and like I said, I, I want to run the wire so that there's no kind of strain on it. I kind of tried to force it in there and then the unit didn't power on. So this is day two of this install. I should have taken a lot less time had I done it right the first time. So just keep that in mind. All right, so we just hooked everything up and uh, I'm gonna now put in the key and let's see if the second time around everything works. So as you can see up here. See, you got your windshield lights. Oh, they're on. LED light bar. We gotta check it out tonight. Zombie lights. So this is a nighttime test now with the Apollo Intech six switch setup that I have here. We've got windshield lights, LED light bar, zombie lights, and these are working now. So if we turn on the windshield lights, windshield lights just went on. There's the LED light bar, and then we have the zombie lights here. So, and you'll see the draw on the battery here on the voltmeter. And then these are just some extra ones I have for later for future use, but it all finally works, so you can see.